So using the same diagram that we use for the sine rule, okay, um, we've got this scalene triangle where I've dropped perpendicular down from the angle C down to the uh, line AB okay, to make a right angle. Now, if we let this length here be x, then if C is this overall length, okay, then this will be C minus x, that length there. Okay? So that will be C minus x, that will be x, like so. Okay? So then, if we utilise um, Pythagoras with this triangle, we can say that b squared must be equal to x squared plus h squared. Okay? That from that triangle there. If we use Pythagoras for the second triangle, then we've got that a squared must be equal to c minus x squared plus h squared. So let's just multiply this second one through. So we've got these two equations using Pythagoras. So if we multiply the second one through, then a squared is c squared minus 2xc um, plus x squared plus h squared. Now we know that x squared plus h squared from equation number 1 is just b squared. So a squared must be equal to c squared minus 2xc plus b squared, okay, by substituting equation 1 into equation 2. Now, let's rewrite that, because that's b squared plus c squared minus 2xc. Now, side x we can write in an alternative way, okay, because we don't want it in terms of h. We'd like to have it in terms of the variables that we currently have, the a and the b. So x being the adjacent to this angle A, okay, and b being the hypotenuse to that angle, then we've got adjacent hypotenuse. So cosine of the angle A must be equal to the adjacent over the hypotenuse B. So x must be B cos A. So if I substitute that into this, then a squared must be b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cos a. And that is the cosine rule. Okay? Now, with that in mind, this is a very useful um, formula in order to find a missing side or angle. So if you've got um, an angle and two missing sides either side of it, you can't use the sine rule. You want to find that missing side, you use the cosine rule. Or if you've got all three sides and you want to find an angle, you use the cosine rule. But when you've got all three sides and you want to find the angle, this isn't in the best format that you can use it. So you might want to have it in a rearranged format. So if I add the 2bc cos a to both sides, subtract the a squared, then I can divide both sides by the 2bc, and we get a formula for cosine of the angle A, which allows us to find uh, just using all three sides, substitute them in, and then inverse cosine to find the required angle.